That'll work. Going through the gears. That's right. Al Guy Berger Jr., welcome to the Flick T. Thank you. Some people say the Trot T. I see what you did there. <laughs> <I like that. laughs> it is annual fitting for you. Yep. We do it once a year. It Back. is also fitting season on the channel. I'm kicking it off with my good buddy. We have the Almigos and Mates trophy with us, much to my disgust. You've brought this to, to the house. It down. You did. I had a few coffees, a few beverages out of it, and I thought, you know what? It missed you, wanted to come down, just pay a small visit. The content for Almigos and Mates 2022 is gonna be coming up over the next few weeks. Al's here to kick off live fitting. I appreciate that. We're gonna keep you guys in tune this time through this content, but this is how we go through the gears with Al's a pro, so maybe not relatable for some of you guys out there, but look at the ball speed, listen to the way he handles his fitting. I'll keep you posted as we can. More content, more reviews of the new product from TaylorMade is of course coming up, so be sure to subscribe and follow. Any questions you have on this one for myself or Al, I'll have to text him to get his response, but he'll let Might you know. Might not get a response. Might not, but I can handle that. That's all right. Let's get into it, mate. <laughs> Where would you like me to place this before we not get going? Not far. Because I've been holding this for a while now, considering yeah. it's not mine at the I moment. Know. We had you in the locker <laughs> with it, next to the bag. We did. Next to your Tiger's bag. We I did. Mean, okay. She is a beaut. She Shout is a beaut. A for the, uh, let's, the let's get off that subject now and get on with this, shall we? <laughs> So like any fitting now, we're just going through the gears. You've not actually seen the new product. I have. Not, I have purposely, by the way, not hit it, not hit any of it. People ask me, hey, what do you think, blah, blah, not hit it once. Good, good. The beauty of doing this fitting for you is obviously now I have the benchmark from last year. I'll put the link down below in the description if you want to see that fitting. But on the same note, I have a spec and I obviously we play a lot of golf. Yeah. So I know ball flight, I know your preferences. Yeah. So this is actually really easy for me as a fitter. I'm saying that, I'm pretty certain I'm not gonna jinx it because you've said you're playing well as well, right? I, well, swinging better. Because I did have a baby, took time off, did this You look good day. considering you had a baby? I do, I, it, <laughs> weight fell right off. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it, I took a lot of time off and it took me a little bounce back to kind of get back into it. And finally, lately, it's actually been feeling a lot better. So this is good, I'll actually get probably some numbers that are actually so here's this right go to that one let's move through the gears because obviously i like a bell curve with my fitting i want to get the players when they've not hit too many balls for you it's not talk too much because you love to talk which i appreciate uh, that's weird i know right um even you as a top class player you've talked there about i wanted to come here when i was hitting it good yeah people out there going for a fitting worry about that i've just had a buddy of mine message me send me his golf swing he's going for a fitting on friday of this week concerned about where his game's at. Why do you think as a player you approach it and you want that? And how important is it that you, you're happy with where you're at? Well, I think and would you, you delay your fitting if you weren't happy with where you're at? Yes, I would initially delay it. I mean, kind of, I, if you said a month ago, like we just had this conversation, if I said this a month ago, hey, can we do the fitting tomorrow? I'd be, I would have probably done it, but I've been a little skeptical. I probably would have voiced this, been like, hey, I'm a little off right now because I'm still trying to get back into it. You don't have to be hitting it perfect, but you have to be in the zone of what you feel is normal, consistent for you on a day in day out basis. Or you're at a point where you're like, this is where I wanna be and for the foreseeable future. This is where I see myself at least being. A month ago, two months ago, I was not quite there. Would we have made it work? Would it have been super far off? Not super, but it wouldn't have been where I wanted it. Now we're closer to where I want it, where I see my swing and my game at and going forward. So when I get these clubs fit, Love it. Yeah. Okay. I like it. And I, I mean, I probably, if you don't feel comfortable, I'd probably just say, yeah, wait and delay. Now, taking ownership of your fitting, right? Yeah. It's so important. It's so Unless important. It's with you, then they might, it's, you know, drop everything they're doing. Exactly. <laughs> now, I like that. If you're coming to the flick tea yeah, at the, the kingdom, tea. I like that. Okay. Then drop everything you're doing and let's get it done. Yeah, I can exactly. work around it as a fitter, but obviously, if confidence is up and you're hitting golf shots consistently, now for this fitting already started, I'm looking at the ball flight, I'm looking at the height. These irons were new to him last year. We've got TP5s and TP5Xs on the turf. New irons, new MCs. Is that a conversation that you want to have or are you still, I know you had your last never, set for even, 25 years. One. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's tricky. Two sets for a long time. Um, so let's focus to today on this yeah. and I will come back to that because it's a very easy switch when you've gone old MC to this MC, not concerned about it. Yeah. You want me to hit the wood? We're gonna get there. Oh, okay. 
I'm gonna set up our track, man. I will say, camera or not. Yeah. When we fit these last year, and we, what a big difference having the proper weighting throughout was. The swing weighting and the, yeah. Was done, because then my shot cone of miss yeah. narrowed down, yeah. and I probably, swinging well or not, had some of the most consistent striking I've ever had. You were a, an easy one for me, because you had clubs that just, you've just done what a lot of golfers have done and just let the process meander. You know what I mean? And I'm like, this is low-lying fruit for a freaking good player. Yeah. Low-lying fruit. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I mean hitting it real bad. <laughs> <laughs> is this six iron? Shout out to Dana, because three weeks ago, I don't even know if it was quite like this. This is six iron. Six iron. You're going at that red, green, that red? Roughly, yeah. Okay, I got you. Still in a... Let's lay some numbers down just so I can. That's me trying to hit a little cut. So we spoke last time about the importance of spin. This seems to be a theme coming up on a lot of my fittings right now, talking about spin rates, golf ball, why you're in the TP5 golf ball. And I just want to clarify, six iron, 6,400 spin on a little cut. So if you hit that straight, it'd be 6,000. Yeah. If you hit a draw, it'd be 5.8, yeah, basically. So I can do that. I now, I, I want to clarify, oh, or heal it. because... A lot of golfers are using these numbers to be like, well, that's the gospel. I would say, no, it's player dependent. You have loads of speed. So yeah. if I can get your cuts living at 6,200 to 6,500, that then means your peak height is up there. It means your descent angle is steep and you can hit it close to the flags. Especially with six. I know you have a lot of speed, but there'll be people watching this who don't have that speed, who need more yardage. Then you work less spin. So 6,000 on a cut for them, Over. like that one will drop, yeah. but even because of the draw, it'll have enough spin on it to keep yeah. it in play. Again, it's all speed dependent. Where you need the spin rate is all speed dependent on the individual. A little bit too of like how guys attack it. If they're shallow attack or steep angle of attack, if they're having, if they're efficient with that, that's gonna also change a little bit of that spin. Yeah. If I shallow it out versus I'm feeling a little steep. Yeah, I can tell, especially with uh, furry woods. Some beautiful head covers here, Al. Yeah, you like those? Yeah, I do. Okay. I some coming your way. Okay, just take a look at that for a minute. That is your, obviously your five wood. And then I want to just pull you in to have a look at something else I've got here. Let me see the comparison, just to check. We're cushy on everything, which of course we are, good. And then, so main difference, I didn't like or don't love this is such a brute of a golf shaft. Yeah. And you said on the phone, this is the 9X Ventus Black, and you said on the phone a couple of things that made me think, okay, I've gone Ventus Blue. I've got the weight. This weight moves, by the way. I'll have yeah. to run down and get a wrench. It goes in to take spin off and back to add spin. I'll run and get a wrench now. All right. But, I mean, it's just a different profile. It's slightly smaller. You have the gloss versus the sheen. You'll get used to that after three or four shots. Even that fingerprint I put on the top, you'll get, nice. used to, yeah, you'll get used like to that. I'll get used to that. It actually does sit. Exactly. The face angle is, is what I know is critical for you. Right? You're a big one on face angle, right? Face angle, visual appeal, all that. I mean, if we're going off last year and I hadn't hit either of these, when we're just going off raw look, I'm going with the new. I get it. I get it. Now I'm going to put that there so you can hit. see it. Yeah. This one's I, a little heavier too. Do you know what? I won't going to say anything to you. That is very impressive. <laughs> very impressive. I'm going to say to you, it is one and a half swing weights heavier. One and a half? Hey, I trust you. Uh, you, Do you and I wasn't, I wasn't going to say anything because I just wanted to see you hit it. It is heavier. And the reason it's There's heavier... Faldo hands. Because of the, the, the new one is heavier, right? Yeah. Because of the build, it's a hair heavier, yeah. You told me last year, I said, hey, try, I don't know, it's a little heavier than what I'm used to. You said, uh, and I quote, STFU <laughs> and just hit it. <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> and I got used to it. So. so it's a hair heavier, which means the shaft will play a bit soft. This is your gamer. This isn't this isn't this one. So we're laying down a couple of numbers. I'll let you do that. But Al, you've got used to this club. You know what it's doing. That yeah. to me is I don't play five wood, but anytime I fit for one, I like that. Looking yeah. at spin rates here. I'll probably take so this out of your way. I'll, okay, I'll hit 4,100 with a draw. First I like that. My life. Yeah. That. So 
I'm gonna let you know if I hit one or two of the ones like I said that I see that I'm just kind of maybe unsure about. I just switched us to normalize 270 total out of a five wood out. So that's a heel. But I think that, that's a great flight for a five wood. Now let me. What's the carry? Uh, it was 250 something on the previous one. This that one's 256 on the previous. This one's carried at 251. Okay. See now, in my mind, what I've found is three. I'm not. I'm never having three wood into greens, really, right? Like, yeah, If I'm in three wood fast. on my second shot, it's like it's palms 14. It's 640 yards, like whatever. This one, I'm kind of. I I do have in. So I'm trying to find. I have a new little three wood for you that might change that. By the way. Oh really? Yeah, we'll get okay. to that. <laughs> You always got something. Oh, I always get please. something. Um, you got a wrench in your bag, or do I need to nip down and get one? You, you ain't got, you ain't got a wrench, have you? Have you? Professional golfer. What is it, a ping wrench? Yep. <laughs> is that what we're going to work with? Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm such a nice guy. You got a tailor-made one now? No, I think I gave it to someone. Oh, there you go. You built yourself up to have a wrench. In your own. Let me go and get a wrench. <laughs> Don't hit that club until I come back. No, Good to go. All right, so we, I think we know what that one does. Mm. Let's um, fire this, no, that's not the one. Let's fire this new three wood, new five wood in. I like the distance. I guess I could say if we... I can adjust. I mean, if you, the thing is, it's got to hit a yardage that you want. I'm not By too way, worried. You know we left last year? Yeah. I didn't touch the settings on any club one. <laughs> they have not, they have not moved. And I bet there's a lot of players like that purely because they want to play. I heard a lot of amateurs do that. Yeah. They used to be a fitter. And they'd yeah. be like, uh, once I get it, uh, yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I, but if you understand how to change it, it's like having a tour truck in your pocket. Good. Well, that's because I got it bang on, Al. Yeah, yeah I know. Bangers, mash. This head looks flush. Yeah, it's money. I was specific on the orders. So golf shaft's a bit softer. Yeah. You felt that? Yeah, just a little bit. Heavier, softer. Hit that shot actually reasonably a couple of swings ago off camera. And yeah. um to the right. Yeah, trying to hit like a little cut and that one actually went. Let's go further. Got like this looks way better. See, I like the height on that. So for me, a five wood should be that yeah, window. You, you get, that you're getting obsessed with length. 257, it did go further. But you're getting obsessed with it like, it's got to hit a window, mate. I know. I, that, no, no. Okay. I was afraid my window yep. was just a... Scooch low. Scooch short. Yes, scooch short. Well, hang on a minute then. So, so two, But that's a 3,700 spin on it, so that's not much. I came out like a rocket. But if you want this thing to be, I'm just going to tuck that all the way into the garage. That's what they call it. That's called the, the garage. The garage, With we the call it in the UK, yeah. What do you, what do you boys call it? Carport. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. It's a garage. It's a garage. 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 <laughs> doesn't exist all right 257 less spin now on this puppy and i've not even got you in uh i can i can take that see the feels a bit different now when you got the weight at the front yeah that came off harder yeah look at the loft sleeve as well it's in standard so we can turn that stronger if we want mm. it felt 258 like 270 total so much further. <laughs> <laughs> one yard 258.7 now let's see if i can hit like if i choke down hold on then Cheeky tosser. If you want yardage out of it, then we just have to turn it. Less loft. Yeah. Goes further. But I want to keep it. Uh, I've heard. I know you like it flat though. I do like it flat. Yeah, I know. So now me putting it in the lower moves it. I still, it's ringing in my head last year when you said, bit of an old way of doing it. And I was like, <laughs> Am I a Cockney now? I don't. I can't nail down all these accents. You're lucky you're getting anything. <laughs> You're lucky it wasn't Australian. How's that face angle there now? So this is strong now. It wants to sit more open. Yeah, actually, okay. I didn't even not not too much. Notice. Okay, that's good. Oh, but Al, it's a bit nuky. That's all. Nuky. Long place with a little surf spot in England. Nuky. 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 Um, carry two sixty three point eight. There you go. Now you can uh, do one. That's five or six yards. Yeah. I but like it's that. 35, I know you do, but I'm saying it's a rocket. It's nukey. <laughs> I'm not sure. 
<laughs> I, I'm not sure I love how nuky it is. All right, let's hit a cut. The only thing you get away with its peak height is 109, so it's going to land soft. Toe cut, which is actually a drop. Twist face, baby. Look at it, now it cuts. That's the wind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> 101 you peak height. On this time? I will have to put it on afterwards. Well, we don't put it on now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the tracer goes right, left, then right. <laughs> no, it's only me. It's a standard. <laughs> If I, I, my if I nice. tell the tracer it's Al Guyberger mode, it'll know exactly what yeah. I want to do. Okay, here we go. Oh. No. Go How again. Far is it going yeah, that's no good. Reload. Get your head in the game. This. Um... I think you're going to love this next club I got for you. See? <clears throat> TR in the Ventuses as well, so that's that new Ventus, not the old Ventus. Obviously, folks on here now must be figuring out that from a fitting point of view, certainly first fits for guys, or when I'm doing blind fittings, which I hate when I get direct messages or questions, big Ventus fan, um, big Acra fan, big UST fan, but Ventus is very reliable. It, 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 and the, reason, the, the TR in there basically um, is going to give you, that one is not actually TR, but the rest of them are. That's not because it's a nine, because it's heavy. The rest of them are TR, so it's going to be a little bit of a feel thing for you. You know who threw TR in was tri uh, tri Block. Yeah. Any game changing. Yeah, it's, it reduces the overling, obviously. So as the golf club comes down from transition the golf shaft maintains shape that's now, pretty that much what that means perfect or nuki i love that you're not listening to the geeky chat i like that that's what makes you a player <laughs> that was nuki probably but let's have a look i, I mean thought it's the, i thought the chat was for them <laughs> no, <laughs> no i know what yeah. i'm dealing with yeah. uh 3,267. it's nuki but the only way you get away with it it's a 44 degree land angle yeah. so 44 degree land angle means it'll stop on the on the dance floor for you but to me, as a That's fitter, purpose, that is a hair strong. But we can't answer that question until... So if I go... Well, hang on a minute, hang oh. on a minute. Now we've got to look at set makeup. So take a look at that. Now, where, that, where this is different from what you've seen before, it's a forward turned stronger. So by... <laughs> <laughs> so by turn... I was actually going to do it earlier, but I didn't want to bring anything else to the... Uh, table with that all right all right <laughs> it's just elevated you don't have to bend over it. sure so uh it's a four you throw them and I catch <laughs> i'm them. not touching it anymore <laughs> until i win it um it's a forward turn stronger so oh. face angle yeah yeah now we're in the black tr because my thought is you're going to use this off the peg so a bit stronger because yeah, i rarely use the other one off exactly the swing weight isn't as heavy as the five wood so you'll not feel the head as much um, let me change this on here, lad, because we're keeping a nice little. I'm keeping a nice little deck going here. Might as well continue on. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's rare that in a fitting anyone has to wait for me, but on this occasion you've got to wait for me. Good, Forward. That was the first time it's ever happened. Ridiculous. Captured it on camera. Okay, so we're working off of an average on that five wood, and leave it a shocker one in there. But last shot went 260. That's perfect. Yeah. Let's see what this. Let me tell you what the last few golf shots went. So we've got an. But yeah, we'll, we'll, look at, we'll look at the ones that we're happy with. The carry, 260, 267, um, 250, 250, 263, 258, 257. Yeah. So you're looking at, realistically, a 258, 260 golf club. Yeah, that's Remember, we were moving loft sleeves. So right now, where we've got it, I think it's more 262 as an average. Yeah. If you take your 267 and your 260, that's your carry. Now let's look at this three wood, because I know I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you there. You just hit it. I'll worry about the, the numbers. Okay. You're doing great. Thanks, mate. <laughs> little toe. <laughs> this thing sits flush. Mm, might have to move the weight. That's not strong enough, though. If we're, going, if we're putting the five wood in, that's not strong enough. And I don't want you to start ripping it now. So this is the difference between the blue and the black. You see that height? To me, that looks like it's caught a little low in the blade, and no, it's a bit a stally, yeah. Yeah, so here's what we're going to do. 
Let's chuck a couple of things here at it. Five wood where it is. Do you like that? I, pretty much everything at that was... Okay, was money. So I think we're already on the lower setting. I'm going to shove this thing into the carpool. Carpool or carport? Port. Carpool would be... A yeah, on the, on the lane, yeah. in a car, you pick them all up. Okay. You're carpooling. Yeah, okay, just hit the shot. <laughs> <laughs> What was the other thing you said earlier? This the shell suit? The uh, shell yeah. suits, yeah. I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> we didn't get that on camera. Yeah. It's a Liverpool fashion item. Close. Push, push, close. Oh, I stood in front of the That's all right. Picked it up until you did. <laughs> this ain't going any further. Then my five wood? Mm. So that's what I'm saying to you. You've got a Weaken the five if you want to play both, or you just play the five. Because I've got so obsessed with making a four wood here rather than a three wood, because I didn't think a three wood would be any use to you, because it's yeah, too but strong. Yeah, you're almost right. They're almost going. They are. I'm not almost right. I am oh, right. That, yeah. That's accurate. <laughs> yes, I trust it. <laughs> They're the same, mate. So should we go three wood? We can, but what we would do, again, I'm coming back to the question, Make that stronger. Weaker. We've made this. Oh, a make that weaker so we can put carry this. that. But if you're not in love with that, because if I go three wood, I can't get your face angle that you want. Well, because we can get this to 280. Okay. Let That's... me go and get ahead from down at the kingdom and do come back and do this. But so then you'd carry them both as strong clubs. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we could maybe. Because I don't. What I'm trying to say is, this will spin to get this to 280 it will have to spin less. To spin less, it'll look great on there. Yeah. It's not gonna hold a green, no. and it's gonna be a second driver. And because of your ball speed with driver, I'm more in the mindset that you should just carry the five wood that is now strong and not carry this club at all. That's a possibility. Okay, the way we go in this fitting, because- And add a, like a, another wedge? Hang on a minute, what have you done now? Hit it better. So you just screwed everything up because that's gone 274. Yeah. Was that your best hit? Yeah, for sure. So you're saying you want 280 out of this because I can get you 280 out of it, but I've got to go for a head. I've got to go for the 15. I... But what I'm saying to you is what value is the 15? Because what we're here doing here, Al, right? Mm. You've either got this club or that club. You don't carry both of these. No. So you so either... that needs to go shorter. Or we get rid of it or we get rid of that. You know what I mean? That's also close to the last one. That's money. Yeah. Those last two shots have been absolute cash. Cash. 270. Seven. What well, is like half a yard shorter? That's yard. where that club is at. That's at 270. This is at 260. You're looking at carry, no, by the way. No, we should make that shorter then. Okay, we right. can do that. Yeah. Or do you want a three wood that goes 280? Because we can also do that. Because if you I, want a three wood that goes 280. How far 280, was I hitting my other one? Did I hit my three wood yet? No. If you want a three wood that goes 280, then I don't touch this five wood. If you want a, a three wood that goes 270, then this is it. This yours? Uh -huh. Okay, so your original stealth. Let's get See, another. See, I can, the way this one sits, it's just more, just a. N less open. Less open. And that's what I'm saying to you, mate. I can give you a new three wood, but it'll sit open and it will go forever. See, I might have that miss on, a clo on this closed one. I don't think I'll have that on that. No, of course you won't, because you're using a strong golf shaft. But let's get, I don't think you can hit this club 280 either. No. It, 277, oh, you can. <laughs> you can. And I missed but, it. But watch, 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 watch. This is where the new three wood, if I went down there and got your 15 degree head, this is where it'll be. I'm telling you, you're carrying a second driver. I don't see where you would use this golf club. I think it's pointless because I think it's going to go too far. Yeah. So I've changed face cool. angle on that now. I mean, we're talking, I went from three wood to driving two iron, and I thought, well, I'm going to take three iron out, add another wedge, because I thought, what's the point of having a three iron? I might as well have a gap wedge. It makes way more sense. And now, then we introduced the five wood last year, and then, I mean, we're talking, we could just have one club that covers both those. That's the four, that's the four wood. The one club that covers all of it is It'd the forward. forward. That's what I'm saying to you. And then this wedge conversation changes. So that flat knuckly flight, I know you pulled it, I know you want to spew up on it, 
But that flat, knuckly flight. As a driver. Yes. It went 300, so. Yes. And exactly what I preach to people when we're, you know. I don't see the point in this golf club. I see the point in having a four wood to do wood? all the jobs. I mean, I don't want to switch it. Or you have the five wood to do all the jobs. I, lo there's, I love this five wood. I know you did. I could tell. Switch the numbers around. But that's not a five wood, is it? It's turned strong. See, that's if I miss. I hit it well. Uh, maybe a breath more spin than I'm. You don't get that shot out the forward, though, Al. But I think that still is traveling pretty far. It had a lot of spin on it. That's gone 253 carry. I'm always thinking carry. Yeah, so no, if you've I mean, got a 260 carry, you are on the limit with that thing. Like, can you hit that 265 carry, assuming that there's water out there? A 260. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm well, let's do it then. See if you can hit one that's 260 carry. Because we know your driver's going to be 300 carry. 295, 298, 300. So that's just a smooth, maybe a little cut on it, but I'm not like. I think second shot into Tory 18 south. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's where you might want to... That's a good base to know if I have to swing harder or not. 250, 251. You're not going to get... So you, what we might have to do here... Is go. This is the club if you only want one. This is the club if you want a five wood. Now you can also leave with a strong three wood so you have three options. But you're going to have to be responsible for what you're doing based on the golf course you play. I mean, if we're talking... I mean, I'm thinking back home. But I play a variety of courses, especially over summer tournament season when I'm playing a ton. That's why you might need options. So I might need the options. But the whole point of these clubs, and look, I've got this now in lower. I've got the weight all the way under the weight port, under the garage there. Yeah. I've got this as strong as it can go. I can make this weaker too. So you, th this that. is what I'm saying. Like we got, by having, you've got multiple right now. See, let's see if you can get this 265. 265 is the number oh, without hitting the pull dog. That's yeah. going 265, but it's pulled. I think you can get 265 out of this easily, yeah. The only thing probably didn't carry as far as that one. 270 yeah. carry. So look, there's some decisions to make here. I think the clubs are fit good. I think all we have to do is get a three wood head, which we can see in this fitting. And look at that. If I'm you, that's the three wood I take because it covers everything. And I have the five wood if I need a little chippy one, but that's the club I have, 267. I just said that. Felt like it. We'll find out when I do the edit if you okay. truly said that or if you were lying. No, no, in my head. Was, yeah, yeah, in I your mean, head. You didn't say it, so you, you didn't say it. Edit in my head. You didn't say it. No, I didn't say it out loud. <laughs> so you're standing here telling us you said it, but you didn't say it. No, nope, didn't say it. Okay. All right. Let's come back to that because yeah. I want to get some drivers before you've hit too many I mean, shots. We're favoring we're not sure yet. Option. The truth is we're not sure. And you've got to make a decision. And there might not be a YouTube video on this earth that can go on long enough for you to make a decision. So, <laughs> you know, we'll just see where we go with this. Ventus <laughs> TR. Ventus TR. Okay. Stealth 2. Changes are more carbon in this. Engineers been able to move the weights where you want them. Just yeah. stick with me. It yeah. basically means we're going to get... CG back a bit more, going to give you higher launch, but also this movable weights become heavier, so that can control well, spin as well. It's lighter where it can be, heavier where it should be. Exactly, basically, yeah. Any deeper than that, I'll lose you, so I'm not going to go there. The head has changed a little bit, the twist face, the behind it, all the jazz in there has changed a bit to make it more efficient for you on off-center strikes. Now, we're coming off of Stealth 1 being post-fit. Arguably the... I want you to hit it here so we don't lose you in the camera. <coughs> Go on. Best, uh, best driver... You've had. I've probably ever had. So the problem with this year's fitting is the benchmark's a little higher because whoever fit you probably got it closer than yeah. the previous ones. I'm going to readjust so folks can just keep an eye on what's going on here. Okay, go for it. Pretty good. Yeah. I like the start point. The numbers are going to go down in your five wood profile, so that screws all that up, but uh, I've never been one... To, swipe, delete it. I've never been one to keep things in order. Um, You're talking. We run a tournament together, I know. <laughs> Good I'm job I'm here, yeah. yeah. 8.3 launch, a little low. We want to get the, the oh, launch I up. It, but I like a... Yeah, I think the start is good, right? Yeah. There's way more speed in the tank, by the way. Ooh. Big. 
big bounce. Yeah, it was on the flipping tarmac of the road out there. That's why. Aim a little further. Let's readjust. That was colossal. I told you you'd be 300 carry. Am I? And I said that on camera. I said 300, 298. That was 298, 321 total. Speed? 177, so there's more in the tank. Yeah, there's more in the tank. 103 height, 40 degree land angle, which, uh, sorry, 38 degree angle, which is the minimum, so you can get your height up because you launch. You caught it maybe a midge low? Yeah. And 2,500. Attack three up, good. And path uh, one. Some of your paths. So you're a bit of a spin loft guy, I love are you? Spin Seven point six. Higher. Okay. We can get that higher. Okay. Because that's a. T I mean, spin loft is arguably one of my favorite numbers. Why do you like that so much? I just there's. It just says a lot between controlling wedges. Yeah, to yeah. To controlling trajectories and control with those clubs, yeah. and then driver distance. Okay. You know. Spin to distance. I mean, it's right, fella. White post oh, on the left of the range. Yep. Okay. Oh, that was tough. So spin loft, the definition, just so that guys are keeping up with us. Angular difference between the clubs attack and angle of attack. Dynamic. Correct dynamic loft so when you say you love it on wedges the reason you're talking about that is because you're controlling the loft and a lot of right. people freaking yeah if you're me included consistent wedge player give it a little tickle by the way the little tickle with the right angle can be possibly okay yeah but if it's tickle from the wrong angle <laughs> it's not good okay good i hear you let's just move on before we start about talking about tickling but, it controls your wedges and you can control the spin with those launch conditions. And Correct. So you can really hit that low nips drive spinner that people... Uh, now obviously you like the hanger, don't you, and stuff like that. That yeah. kind of ties into using that, right? Yeah. To control face, which goes back to everything that... Oh, hello. That I've been saying on this channel. I'm going to put a description below about the hanger if you want to get one. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, 1800. There we go. I need, I want both these higher. Yeah, this is a little low for me. Yeah, that is a little low. Did you catch it, Toey? Yeah. Do you do this? I Sometimes I fit people for golf clubs, yeah. Hope you didn't have anyone like after me today. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. Low. You can hear the sound. Come on. Didn't get it, did you? Nope. Swing was good. It hit it on the I mean, yeah, they're lovely. <laughs> Let's do the club some justice for a second here. 293, 311, 2800, 10.7, 42 degrees land angle, 119 peak. The numbers you like, attack angle 3.4, yeah. club path 1.8 to the right, yeah. dynamic loft 12.3, spin loft 8.9. What's a number on your spin loft you like? Probably just pushing that. 12 to 14, okay. 15, okay. right? Isn't that, I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's all player dependent, but yeah. But look, at the end I of the day, low, but... everything you've hit has been in the window other than the one little lefty. That is probably the best shot you've hit since yeah. you've been here. Yeah. With driver. Yeah, with driver. You've hit some money golf shots. So that, for me, is what I'm going to basically judge. I mean, my fitting here is, is done, by the way. I'm like just... This. Well, I, I like... Because you've hit misses, and it's in play. Yeah. Now, from this part and the fitting going forward... I also know for you, you're quite distance orientated. So I also know, which I've been checking throughout this fit, I can't, I need to make sure the golf ball is still good. Because obviously yeah. when we got here, I said, oh, TPX guy, right? And you're like, no, 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 I'm five, remember? And I was like, yeah, sorry, fit a lot of people, excuse me. But 2000 spin, 12.1 launch for your speed, which I know that wasn't your best, 174. But that to me looks like a golf course shot. That was golf course. Yeah, okay, so I like it, because that's what I want you to give me as a player. 38 degree land angle, 112 feet peak. Now, you notice how I'm stood here? Watch this if you're a fitter, not allowing him to hit another ball. A, I want you to slow down a bit, and B, like, this is good. You know what I mean? That is good. So the way you control that as a fitter is you stand in the line. You do it with the best players in the world, they can't hit, unless they push you out of the way. So that's pretty good. Now... Granted, let's say a couple more months down the road, I'm in the process, tournament play, swinging better, swinging naturally faster, these will pick up. Yeah. Do you think 
these were all match up based on those picking. I think you will like it because the spin is low. So when the spin is low, you, yeah. it means you're going to just be hunting basically. Okay. Whereas if it was a bit high spin, you yeah. might not be loving life. No. <laughs> low again. Yeah, it's fine though. Low in the face and yeah, it's okay. Oh, low in the face. Yeah, but I like that. I don't mind that launch. If I'm out playing. Think about where we came from, from the driver two years ago. Wasn't, weren't you an 8.5 two years ago? Were you an 8.5 no. head two? You want me to be 8.5. No, I don't. I'm happy where you're at now. Okay. What is this on, this on standard? So exactly. We could, we could go. Could go anywhere you open. want. Yeah, but then you're going to lose loft and you're going to lose spin and I don't want to lose spin. We don't lose spin, but we gain ball speed? Yeah. Learned that last year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Less loft you can get in, the more speed you can get. 177 on ball speed there. So that's the hardest hit one. Um, and my only concern would be is on the hardest hit. Yeah, my, am I perfect? No, but that. So the interest, the only thing we have different versus prior year is the TR versus the regular number. So then we have an option of going down this route. That was closer to, that was almost 180. By the way, those numbers they sent you that I was swinging my butt off. You've moved one lower on this. Or did you leave it? You left it where it was. Yeah. So we obviously changed it towards one lower in the fitting. Yeah. Mm. Now, did we, did you... Um, hot melt. Hot melt at all. There is some in there, I think, at the back. But I'm not certain I didn't make it. I can maybe bang it around a bit and tell you. I don't know. I just remember... There was last year because we needed it. I looking yeah, at this head... Well, to be honest with you. Doesn't make a difference. No, it does make a huge difference. Oh. To be honest with you, the only thing that I would maybe like a hair more spin out of this driver, but I also know to beat a brilliant driver, and we haven't hit your driver yet, yeah. I want the spin to just maybe be a bit lower, which is what we've bit got. Lower. Mm. Yeah, yeah. To beat it. Yeah. And I want to beat it. I want to beat it. different yeah see i swung hard and that one actually but cut cut a little that thing was hunting hunting as with the coin phrase last year 10.8 2200 that's good but that was a little cutty 177.7 um and I've, felt... I've not got you in standard here i've got you one towards lower huh. because that was the setting that you were in before god and that thing that was decent yeah 325. You know, I'm going hardcore swings right now. Yeah, it's fine. I, like, so I think you might have to stick in this shaft because I saw that little Lucy left as well. Yeah. Oh, dude. Mm. Do you call that tarmac? Tarmac, yeah. I think it's just the highway. <laughs> <laughs> 12, 2600. Sorry, 12, 20. I can't beat look that. At these are still... I can't beat that. Yeah, this is. And you've still got three mile an hour in the tank. I mean, today you might have turned up. This is the speed you got, but I know you've got I more got speed. More. I know you have. That's, we... You know, every kid I've had, I think they've just How naturally gone down a couple. How good is that? So I can. How good is that? That is really good. That is very good. Very good. Spin loft 10.1. Yeah, better. It's really good, Al. See, that's in that. Zone. I'm not screwing with that. No, I think this is. That's it. Done. So. That's a day. You and I will finish this fitting because we can't beat that. Al will probably chase 180 now for the next 25 minutes of me <sighs> studying. Right which here. is fine. That's part of the process. But at the end of the day, might've, might've got it. if you hit them all like that, then absolutely breezy. Lovely. The one thing we are going to do, which we will leave you off of here. 9.9, 2600, 179.5, 179.5. Nine <laughs> Round up. One thing we are gonna do is we're gonna look at that 15 degree three wood and we might make it stronger, yeah. hit the yardage. If you wanna see that, I'll tell you what, I'll bang it either after the outro or I'll put it out later in the week or maybe next week, but that's what we'll do.